What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and welcome to High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free channel plus good reading for all signs, caps, boots, guides, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free channel plus good reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Channel 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, I do. Okay. So I received some channelings. I'm going to do a couple separate videos for them. Um, I'll put this one out and then put the other one out to see if there's anything else. Okay. Love you guys so much. Um, these are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. You plug it in, how it resonates. Okay. So the channel message I received was, um, um, there's about to be big, um, big residential, residential changes in many people's neighborhoods soon, people moving out and people, um, new people moving in and property management companies taking over homes, rentals and buying, um. It's about to stress out the people that have already, uh, in some of these neighborhoods, it's about to stress out the people that are currently there because they know what happened in the past. And these new people are not going to play around. There's going to be um, a lot of conflict between the old people and the new people. That's what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, I plan on moving soon, but I don't plan on having conflict with nobody. That's just the truth. I think I'm going to live in my vehicle for a little while and travel around or something. Um, and that's just the truth. Um, I don't plan on having conflict with nobody, and that's just the damn truth. But whoever this is, there's about to be lots of changes in your residential space soon. It could be you or somebody you're connected to. Um, feel you either rent you buy, you, or you uh, have a roommate, or you live with your parents, or I don't know. You plug it in how it resonates, but however that resonates, excuse me, there's about to be huge changes in somebody's neighborhood. Either you're moving out, or you're moving in. Um, you're either the old neighbor, or you're the new neighbor. You plug yourself in where you fit. You're the property management company. Or you are a person buying a home or a condo or a duplex or a what have, what have you, what have you, a tiny home. We've been picking up tiny home energy in here. Um, however, that resonates. But I heard there's going to be conflict between the old neighbors, so the people that have been there a while, and the people coming in, whether it's property management companies um, owning these homes and renting them out. Or families buying the home or renting the home from a property management company. How that resonates and applies. I heard there's going to be conflict between the old, the new neighbors and the old neighbors. Apparently something crazy happened in the past in these neighborhoods. And the old people know about it. But maybe the new people know about it. Maybe they don't. It really all depends on who moves in. But who, I mean... However that resonates, there's about to be huge conflict, huge conflict between the old and the new, whether they know about the craziness that happened in the past in these new, um, in these neighborhoods or not. But new people about to move in, moving in, moving on up, just saying, just saying. Um, and it's about to cause some conflict. Oh, I don't know if the police are going to get called or what. I didn't have it. I didn't hear any of that. Community, number seven could be very significant number in one's life. Number seven, community. And someone's going to end up getting the police called on them. They never thought they would. Once these energy shifts occur. 
and someone's going to end up getting the police called on them. They never thought they would once these energy shifts occur. So once the new the old, the people move out, the new people move in, whether it's taken over by a property management company or a family is buying it or, or renting it from a property management company or what have you, what have you. We got property management companies significant in here. We've got um we've got um current homeowners significant in here, current renters significant in here, neighborhood energy strong in here. Somebody was hiding some deep dark dooku secrets in the neighborhood, I'll tell you that for sure. Um I think they're afraid they're gonna get out or they're afraid they know they've gotten out. How that resonates and applies, okay? Community. They have most certainly gotten out. And then old neighbors, they will, they are huge eyes going to be kept on them. A huge eye. Okay, it has most certainly got out. And a huge eye, a uh, huge watchful eye, it sounds like, is going to be kept on the current neighbors. So, it sounds like, from the channel messages, it sounds like the new people about to move in, some of them know about what was going on in this old neighborhood. It sounds like they know about it or they're about to learn about it. And um from somebody. And um once they find out or already know about it, they are the ones it sounds like gonna keep the watchful eyes on the neighbors that have been there a hot ass minute because they were trying to keep some huge dark dooku secret, but it it's already gotten out to some people. Um uh, to a lot of people. A lot of people. To a lot of people. It's already gotten out to a lot of people. Now, I heard somebody in this situation, uh, in this situation, is going to end up going to jail. And it sounds like in a neighborhood, in a community setting. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my God. You can't make this up. I heard somebody's going to end up going to jail. They never thought they would, but they are going to. Community. Storm warning. Their secrets have gotten out. Journey, people are moving or about to move, which is causing the energy shifts, moving out, moving in, changing the energy shifts. The secret's gotten out in the community, baby. It's out. I heard it's way out. It's causing energetic shifts. And people that are moving in, they're learning of this secret, so they can be forewarned when they move in. So it's going to cause uncomfortableness, I feel, in the neighbors that already live in these neighborhoods with the toxic ass uh, secrets of the past because they know they were holding in deep, dark, dooku secrets for strategic reasons. It's going to create hostilities. I heard somebody's going to, the new people are going to end up keeping huge, watchful eyes on the old folks, and I would too. It's going to create hostilities. Somebody's going to end up, I heard somebody's going to end up getting arrested in this. Police energy. Angel of balance, but it's creating balance. Oh, my Lord. Wow, this is juicy. Number 48, 26, 2, 10, or 7 can be very significant numbers. Man, 48, 26, 2, 10, or 7. You plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. Communication flow everywhere. Everywhere. Neighborhoods, community functions, community public spaces, rental agencies. Okay, I heard communication flow everywhere. <laughs> The neighborhoods, communities, community functions, um, rental agencies. I mean, you name it, The it's going. Some community was trying to cover up some huge secret in their community, but it's out. It's out. Um, I heard it's way out. It's way out. But it's, it's creating balance. It's creating balance because you should never hold in. That's abuse. Holding in some kind of deep, dark, dooku secrets is what I need to hear. That, that's abuse. I mean, we have the storm warning and the hostilities in here. But yet, it's creating balance. It's creating balance. Because the people about to move in know the secrets, or they're about to learn them. 
So it's going to create balance because they keep the watchful eyes on the crazy neighbors that like to keep uh, cover up secrets, basically. And one of these neighbors is going to try to become friendly with somebody that's about to move in soon. But they're going to get mad when they do not allow them in their home. But they're not going to allow them in their home for specific reasons. Hidden camera problems of the past. Oh, my God. This is juicy as hell. Okay, so somebody's about to move into a new space soon. This could be you or somebody you're connected to. Somebody's about to move into a new space. For some, you could be the old neighbors that were keeping these deep, dark, dooku secrets. For some, you could be the people spreading these deep, dark, dooku secrets on people that like to apparently harass people with hidden cameras um, and lurk on them and creep on them for your camera style. For some, you could be the new ones moving in. How that resonates, that have learned of this. But however that resonates... Somebody either just moved into a new space or they're about to. And their community, their neighborhood is going to try to, I heard they're going to try to play frenzies with them. They're going to try to play frenzies, like fake false mask energy. Um, but I heard the, neighbor, the neighbors are going to get offended when you or whoever this is for does not allow them in the home, in their home, <laughs> because the, they don't want hidden cameras placed in their home. <laughs> Heard it's going to piss the neighbors off. <laughs> I don't allow people in my home either. And wherever I go, I ain't allow them in my home either. And that's just the truth. That's the damn truth. <laughs> so you plug it in how it resonates. Well, it's going to create balance. We got angular balance here. For some, you can be a side, you're half side in your chart. I don't blame you. You got to protect yourself first and foremost. And that's the truth. False person. These neighbors are fake, man. Number eight could be very significant number in one's life. Number eight. It could be a possible age of years about you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number eight. One, you are the one about to move in. Soon. You will see the offensiveness on these people's faces and uh, nonverbal body language when you do not allow them in the home. It'll be written all over them. Okay. Heard for one, you are one of the ones about to move in. You are, uh, you haven't moved in yet, but it sounds like down the line, like distant horizons, but not too far distant horizons. You are one of the ones about to move in. So you've either already purchased a home or you're renting a home or you uh, own a home through a rental management company or something of that nature. But how that resonates, um, the neighborhood, the neighbors are fake as crap, man. Uh, they're fake as crap, but once you do not allow them in your space, in your home, in your area, what have you, what have you, I heard they're going to get very offended. It could be one person, it could be two or two plus, but they're going to get very offended. I heard you're going to see it all over their face, nonverbal. You're just going to see it all over them. I think in their verbal, uh, not their verbal, their nonverbal cues, like, how they react to you when you're like, no, I'm good, you know, I'm just going in to wash my clothes, or I'm going to go take a nap, um, and you basically blow them all and don't allow them in, in a very tactful manner. It's going to piss them off. It's going to make them piss. There's so well, something to do in this situation regarding hidden camera in somebody's house in the past. For some, you could have had a hidden camera in there, or for some, you could have learned about somebody having a hidden camera for your camera in their house in the past. But how that resonates, you don't want one in your house, I'll tell you that. And so you know these neighbors are very fake and false, and you don't want this shit done to you. I heard you're going to see it all over their nonverbal cues, nonverbal um, expressions, once you don't allow them in. Uh, um, I didn't hear they were, they were premeditating, planning, uh, planning a hidden camera in your house, but there's a reason they're going to be pissed. It's because you're rejecting them, but the thing is, is, as grown, mature adults, we have to learn how to handle rejection in a positive manner. And that's just the truth. Um, 
That's the truth. You don't want to allow anybody in your house. That's your right. And that's the truth. Um, and, and this is a social setting. This is neighborhood, community, social setting. This is not work workplace, like discrimination and EEOC and lawsuits. This is community, neighborhood setting. Wow. About to decide for these people in a huge way. They're going to get so triggered. About to decipher these people in a huge way. They're, they're going to get so triggered. Whoever you are. Wow. Um, I like you. Whoever you are. I like you a lot. So you're going to decipher these people. Um, they're going to get so triggered. So you plug it in how it resonates. It's kind of driving me crazy. I know I need to dye my hair. I've got brown. I've got black. I need to dye it. It's driving me crazy. It's probably driving me all crazy too. It's driving me crazy just to let you know. I need to dye my hair. I know. So, um, yeah, I heard it's going to drive them crazy. It's going to drive them crazy. Um, I feel ulterior motives here and extreme false mask energy. So whoever you are, you're highly intuitive. I love it. You're highly intuitive. And, buddy, you um, you are going to see right through this damn neighbor, neighborhood, right through it. It's going to give them a storm warning. Um, I heard communications already come out. Um. One, you're moving right into a disbanded coven, but you know this. One, you're moving right into a disbanded coven, and you know this. So, one, you're moving right into a disbanded coven, but you know you're moving into a disbanded coven. So, this neighborhood and this area used to be a coven. Anybody doesn't know, a coven is black magic coven, a bunch of black magic wilders, basically. Um, they could have, um, I'm feeling wherever you're moving, they might have used that home as a sacrificial home, possibly, um, for people, possibly, um, or, or, um, use somebody else as a sacrifice or some kind of sacrificial energy, but whoever you are, one of you guys, you know, you're moving into a disbanded coven area. So to me, that should be like a freaking, um. Natural disaster. <laughs> Natural disaster area. I mean, it's not, um, you know, that's not something you can claim on insurance for national, uh, for uh, disasters. <laughs> but it should be, in my opinion. You try to destroy somebody from the inside with a hidden camera and use them as a sacrifice, that should be uh, labeled a uh, uh, natural disaster, in my opinion. Um, trying to destroy somebody from the inside. But, you know, I don't make the rules. And for one, you've just moved in and you are about to trigger a neighbor so bad, they are just about to, they're about to decide to move. And one, you have just moved in. <laughs> oh my God, what is going on here? And one, you have just moved in and you have triggered a neighbor or is about to trigger a neighbor so bad, they're about to decide to move. So you plug it in how it resonates. <laughs> Golly! My neighbors hate me, and they have for about five years. But it's because I don't allow them in my house. And that's the damn truth. Um, they were all like, hey! Hey? I mean, hey! And then, uh, yeah. I got some fake, fake folks around here. And that's just the damn truth. Fake folks. Fake. And I'm not going to tell you who they are. But fake. That's, I especially one person that lives in my back. Not going to tell you her name, but so freaking fake, man. False mask energy all day long. I'm going to be so happy to move out of this place. And that's just the truth. Location's wonderful. House is wonderful. Location's wonderful. But my neighbors, eh! And that's just the truth. Don't upset me. I know, ma'am, that you don't like me talking about my personal life. I made a little blanket slate statement video on it, but I'm still talking about it, <laughs> but it's the truth. Um, that's the truth, man. 
So wherever you're going, one of you guys, you're moving into a disbanded COVID neighborhood. Um, that should have a sign, in my opinion. But, it, you know, people don't like to publicly dis display that COVID's really all real. And that's the truth. For social interact, uh, for social reasons, societal pressure. Experiments with using your book like this. These people are going to really, really, really regret what they did in the past. They are about to get it in huge ways. These people are about to really, really, really regret what they did in the past. They're about to get it in huge ways. I think because the new people, you new, new folks, newbies, whether you just moved in or you're about to move in, one, to a disbanded COVID area, you're going to stand up to these folks. One, you're going to call the police on one of these people or already has. Um, I'm just being for real. They're huge ass thieves. I mean, I just want to show you the cards we got going on here. Hostilities, storm warning, community, thieves. They're thieves. They're hostile. They're false masky. Um, they're not going to like you're moving in or you're about to move in. They like to keep things the way they like to keep it. And if you're moving into the disbanded Coven area, that's a good example because Covens, they like what they like. They like to inter feed off the light side energy. Well, I think a light side individual has already moved out or is about to move out or is about to move in, light side individual. And they want to suck off your energy, but you're not going to let them. Those energy sucky businesses they are in the disbanded Coven area. I feel for a lot of you guys, your light side individuals. They're going to want your, Covens want energy. They want light side energy. They want to feed off the light side energy. You're not going to let them feed off your energy, sir, ma'am. I don't blame you. It's going to make them pissy. It's going to create a storm warning. But it's going to create balance. Beware. There's hidden camera detector on iOS and Android. If you might need to hear that. Thief. These people are huge thieves. One, you're about to learn of this. One, uh, one you already know. These people are huge thieves. One, you're about to learn of this. One, you, um, one you already know. So they're huge thieves. One of you guys are have already learned of these people, community, neighbors, um, whether they're your current neighbors, you just moved in, or they're about to be your neighbors and you're about to move in. Um, they're huge ass thieves. <laughs> they're, um, I feel a lot of them. They're dark arts wielders. Um, or they used to be. One, you're literally moving into a disbanded COVID neighborhood. Um, or about to. Thieves, you plug it in how it resonates. Lower. T R S K T W. T R S K T W is what I heard. T R S K T W. So T R S K T W. T is in tiger. R is in rabbit. S S is in sunshine. K is in kite. P is in pumpkin. W is in watermelon. That could be a first, middle, or last initial of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. I mean, not number. Initial. In one's life, it could also be a nickname initial, possibly. And I want to point out too, as I was got that channel message, maybe C or M are significant initials as well, because I'm, you know, I've had this card for man about a year and a half, two years. I love these Kipper cards, but okay, it's not every single one of them. Okay. On this one, there's C and M on, on the light post. I don't know if y'all can see that. I've never noticed it before. If you look underneath the light right there, it says C and M. So maybe initial C and M or are, uh, are significant. C is in cat, M is in money. You plug it in how it resonates, you guys. 
All right. I love you guys. I'm getting off of here. I hope this helps and namaste.